Hello students, in present video, I'm going to explain a problem from bills of exchange topic. I'm making this video for degree students. I'm taking this problem from Kalyani publications. Authors, Jain and Narang. Third problem I'm going to explain. In third problem, he has given two bits, A and B. So third problem, A bit, I'm going to explain here. First two problems videos links are available in the description box. Let us see the question first. Third A. Show what further entries are passed in the books of Mrs. Bogi Lal and company if the bill is dishonored on the due date in problem number 2. Let us see the problem number 2 again. A bill of exchange for 600 rupees is drawn by Mrs. Bogi Lal and company on C. Narayan Das and accepted by the later payable by Canara Bank of India. Show the journal entries in the books of account of Mrs. Bogilal and company under each of the following circumstances. A. If they retain the bill till the due date and realized it on maturity. B. If they got it discounted with their bankers for 580 rupees. C. If they endorsed it over to their creditors, Mrs. Cox and company in full settlement of their dues of 650 rupees. D. If they send the bill to the bank for collection. This is the question. Let us see the solution for this. So by seeing this question, it is clear that to understand this third problem A bit, first you should understand second problem. So second problem video link is available in the description box. In iCard also, I'm leaving the video link. So first you watch that video. Then only you can understand this present problem. Let us start the solution. What he has given in second problem, Bhogi Lal prepared a bill on Narayan Das for 600 rupees. So, drawer is Bhogi Lal and Narayan Das is drawy. Now the question is, why Bhogi Lal prepared a bill on Narayan Das? Our assumption is, he sold goods to Narayan Das on credit for 600 rupees. So, as a written proof, he prepared a bill on Narayan Das and received acceptance. In second question, four bits are given. When bill is retained with the drawer, when bill is discounted by the drawer, when bill is endorsed by the drawer, when bill is sent to bank for collection. So, in all these cases, on the due date, if a bill is dishonored, how to write the journal entries? That point we are going to see here. So on the due date, Narayan Das failed to pay 600 rupees. So for all these four bits, first entry is common. Bills receivable account data to Narayan Das account. When Bhogilal receives acceptance on Narayan Das, in Bhogilal books, he has to write this entry. So before writing this entry, for sales, entry in Bhogilal's book is Narayan Das account data to sales account. In question, he has not given sales transaction. That is why our solution starts with this first entry only. But to understand this entry, you should know that entry also. So I wrote there. See here, Narayan Das is debited, sales are created. So sales are created because it is an income to him. And Narayan Das is debited because he is becoming a data to us. So we are preparing journal of Bogilal now. Therefore, think from Bohilal's point of view. To him, Narayan Das has to pay 600 rupees now. So for 600 rupees, Narayan Das is becoming debtor. Debtor means asset. Asset shows a debit balance. That is why in sales entry, we debited Narayan Das account with 600 rupees. Come to this entry. So we prepared a bill on him and we received acceptance. So what happened here? Debtor asset is converted into bills receivable asset. So debtor asset we should cancel. A new asset bills receivable we should create. So by debiting we created a debtor asset. If you want to cancel you have to credit. That is why Narayan Das account is created. And why bills receivable account is debited? Because this is an asset. So by debiting only we can create an asset account. Therefore, we debited bills receivable account. Now, first model is retaining model now. Our assumption is Bhogilal retained the bill till the due date. On the due date, he went to Narayan Das. 
and Narayan Das dishonored the bill. He failed to pay the money. In that case, in Bhogilal's books, for dishonor, what is the entry? That a dishonor entry he is asking in third problem A bit. So in A bit, dishonor entry is when Narayan Das dishonors the bill. For this bill, now there is no value because on that bill money is not going to come. Then it is not an asset to us. If it is not an asset to us, we have to cancel that. How to cancel? By debiting, we created this asset account. If you want to cancel, you have to credit. So, credit bills receivable account with the 600 rupees. And Narendas cannot escape from his responsibility. On the due date, he dishonored the bill. But in future, he has to pay no. Means again, Narendas becomes a debtor to us. So, debtor means asset. Asset shows a debit balance. Means we have to debit again Narayanda's account. So entry is Narayanda's account data to bills receivable 600-600. See Narayanda's account data to bills receivable account 600-600. Narration being acceptance of Narayanda's dishonored. BB when Bhogilal discounts the bill and on the due date if bill is dishonored for this model. See for discounting this is an entry. So, discounting means what? Before the due date, Bhogelal needs money. So, he sold that bill to bank. That is called discounting the bill. Then how much money bank paid to him? 580 rupees. Instead of giving to him in cash, in his account bank deposited. So, bank balance is increasing. Therefore, he debited bank account with 580 rupees. He is losing 20 rupees discount. So, discount is a nominal account. Because it is a loss. Nominal account rule, debit all expenses and losses, credit all incomes and gains. Therefore, he debited discount account with 20 rupees. And he sold that bill to bank. Now, bill is not there with him. It is not an asset to him. In this entry, by debiting, he created one asset account. Now, this asset is not there. He has to cancel this. So, he created bills receivable with 600 rupees. This is discounting entry. In second problem, I explain. Now come to dishonor entry. On the due date, bill is with whom? Bank. So bank is a holder of the bill. Bank went to Narayan Das. And Narayan Das dishonored the bill. Then who becomes second responsible person? Bogilal only. So when bill is discounted, Bogilal has contingent liability. Means... If Narayandas pays the money, Bhogilal is not responsible. If Narayandas dishonors the bill, then Bhogilal becomes responsible. So now Bhogilal has to pay 600 rupees to bank. And he should get that money from Narayandas now. So think from Bhogilal's point of view. Who is a debtor now? From Narayandas money should come. Means Narayandas is a debtor. To bank, he has to pay that money. Means bank is a creditor. So, Narayanda's account, again we should debit. Narayanda's account debtor to 600 rupees. First, he was a debtor. When we prepared a bill on him and we received acceptance, he is not a debtor. We cancel. As he dishonored the bill, again he becomes a debtor. So, again we are debiting his account. And who is a creditor now? Bank. So, creditor is a liability. Liability shows a credit balance. Therefore, we have to credit bank account. Bank is a creditor for 600 rupees. Write down 600. And in this dishonor entry, there is no bills receivable account name. Why? Because in first entry, we debited bills receivable. In second entry, we created bills receivable. So, bills receivable asset is already cancelled. Therefore, while writing dishonor entry, again bills receivable word we should not write. See Narayanda's account data to bank account. Amount 600-600. Being Narayanda's acceptance discounted with the bank, dishonored on the due date. See, it is Bhogila lenders this bill to his creditor Cox and Company. For endorsement, this is an entry. 
to understand this entry first you should understand why cox and company became a creditor to bhogila our assumption is he purchased goods from cox and company on credit then what is the entry in bhogila's books for purchases purchases account data to cox and company account so purchase is an expenditure therefore it is debited and cox and company account is credited because bhogilal purchased from them on credit so to him they become a creditor creditor is a liability liability shows a credit balance therefore he credited their account now purchase amount is 650 rupees and as a full settlement bhogilal is endorsing 600 worth bill to them means 50 rupees discount so cox and company is giving 50 rupees discount to us because we made earlier payment so this is the entry for endorsement here why bills receivable is created now bhogilal is endorsing this bill to cox and company no with them now there is no bills of exchange so asset is cancelled by debiting we created this asset bills receivable to cancel that asset we credited and why discount account is created because 50 rupees profit to bhogila profit comes under nominal account nominal account rule debit all expenses and losses credit all incomes and gains this is a gain therefore it is credited and why cox and company account is debited in this entry by crediting he created cox and company account they are creditors now we endorsed a bill to them now they are not creditors so to cancel their account we debited cox and company in second problem i explain this entry now come to dishonor on the due date who is the holder of the bill cox and company so they went to narayan das and he dishonored the bill when he dishonors the bill who becomes a responsible person bhogilal so his liability is contingent now so to bhogilal cox and company again they become creditor and from whom they should collect this amount from narayan das only so to them narayan das again he becomes a debtor so debtor we should debit creditor we should credit no narayan das account we have to debit narayan das account debtor again he becomes a debtor for bill amount 600 rupees to cox and company account they are creditors for 650 rupees no why they are allowing discount to us because we settled their due amount if we fail to settle that do they allow discount to us no means again they become a creditor for same amount 650 rupees then 50 is to be debited now this 50 is what in this entry we created discount because discount received when that a bill is dishonored they are not going to give any discount to us means this profit is cancelled so by crediting we created discount account to cancel that we should debit discount account so this is a entry for dishonor in case of endorsement see narayan das account debtor 600 rupees discount account debtor 50 rupees to cox and company 650 rupees narration being narayan das acceptance endorsed over in favor of cox and company dishonored and discount allowed by cox and company at the time of endorsement of the bill cancelled because of their not receiving the payment on the due date of the bill now fourth model bill sent to bank for collection bhogila is a businessman so daily he receives so many bills of exchanges in this manner so remembering all those bills due dates and collecting those amounts from drawer is difficult so he may transfer that responsibility to his banker here also he did the same he sent this bill to his bank for collection so for sending the bill to bank for collection this is a entry so how this entry came now bill is not with him he gave this bill to bank he should cancel therefore he created bills receivable and he should remember that there is one bill 
it is in his bank they are going to collect the money on that to remember that he debits bill sent for collection account now what happened this bill is dishonored on the due date then it is meaningless to write that we have a bill with the bankers we are going to get money on that means this debit account now we should cancel so to cancel we should credit now to bill sent for collection account 600 rupees and again narayan das becomes a debtor so debtor means we should debit therefore debit narayan das account so this is a entry for dishonor see narayan das account debtor 600 to be sent for collection account 600 narration being narayan das acceptance sent to bank for collection dishonored on the due date so this is all about third a problem hope this video is helpful to you thank you